Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? From what we have here, we factor 3 raised to power x out and we have 3 raised to power x into bracket 1 plus 1 plus 1 left here equals to 20 on this side. At this here, this same thing as 3 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3, equals to 20 from here. That is here we divide both side by 3, divide this side by 3, also divide this side by 3. Here 3 cancelled each other. We have 3 raised to the power x equals to 20 over 3 here. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 3 raised to the power x equals to log 20 over 3 on this side. That is, Next step here, we apply the power law of log theorem. When well, we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. And what we have here becomes x log 3 equals to log 20 over 3 here. That is, here we divide both sides by log 3. Divide this side by log 3. Also divide this side by log 3. Which implies a log 3 cancelled each other here. And we have x equals to log 20 over 3 divided by log 3. Then, from what we have here, this follows log log theorem. When we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is what we have here becomes x equals to log 20 minus log 3 over log 3. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus log 3 over log 3 which implies a log 3 comes each other we have one left here that is x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus 1 which implies here we can express 20 as 4 times 5 then what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then this also follows the law of log theorem. When we have log a times b, I write this as log a plus log b. At this here, we have x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Which implies here, 4 can be written as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. And what we have becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then, here we apply the power of log ring. 2 comes here and what we have becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then when we apply change of base here, when we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a base b. This here we have x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. That is, yeah, the value of x we have 
x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 then plus also 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 also plus 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 is 3 minus 1 is it equals to 20 on this side okay, yeah this follows when we have same thing together three times we have a plus a plus a this same thing as 3 times a as this yeah what we have here becomes 3 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 is 3 minus 1 is it equals to 20 on this side? At this year, we apply a lot of indices when we have a to power n plus n. This same thing as a to power n times a to power n, and also a to power n minus n. Same thing as a to power n over a to power n. At this year, I express this as 3 times a raised to power 2 log 2 base 3. Then 3 raised to power log 5 is 3. Then 3 raised to power divided by is minus now. So divided by 3 raised to power 1. Is it equals to 20 on this side? Then from here, we have 3 times. We can reverse this to whole. And we have 3 raised to power log 2 square base 3. Then 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 over 3 raised to power 1, that's 3. Is it equals to 20 on this side? Then here, 3 cancel each other. And we are left with 3 raised to power log 2 square, that's 4, base 3. Then 3 raised to power log 5, base 3. Is it equals to 20 on this side? That is, yeah. This follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a. Which is equals to b. As this here we have 4 then times 5. Is it equals to 20 on this side? Of course. 4 times 5 here that's 20, which is equals to 20 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.